Hey, the Drell here, getting ready to start another episode of uh, Let's Play Kerbal Space Program No Revert. Just wanted to mention really quick, I'm not going to be putting up every single uh, thing that happens from here on out. Uh, I just put up an, a satellite into orbit of the sun, and there was nothing really interesting going on, so I'm leaving it out. I was just showing a little bit of footage here. And uh, we will be continuing from there. Uh, here and there I will be doing that. Won't be mentioning every single time. So, let's begin. Let's see what we got for active one. Help a scientist perform experiments at Kerbin's Highlands. This one's pretty far away. Kerbin Badlands. Splashdown, crew report, mystery goo, material study. All right, I don't have any biome information, so this is going to be a tough one. This is the one I'm currently working on. Fly by and explore Duna, huh? That's going to take some doing. I'll be doing a big Duna mission later. Um, doesn't actually give any science. All right, let's check that out really, really quickly. Um, here. I forgot to look and see what that went to. Other the suggested splashdown. What's that red bracket? And where is our? That is also all the way on the other side of the world. What do you think? Can we make it all the way over there? Badlands locations? Those are suggested locations, but I might be able to find something closer. Where am I coming from? I'm coming from right there. A longer route. Gotta be able to cross the ocean. Uh, let me see what I got in my SPH. I might be able to build something that can fly that far and carry what we need. I'm not 100% confident. What's the mission say? It's a mission goo. And Mission Goo, Crew Report, Material Study. Well, maybe we can ex find some place closer. 
do a rocket flight of some sort. What's it's two parts over. Isn't that just the way? Well just risk it without the parachutes then. But otherwise this should be good to go. So this is gonna be my liar. Save that. Now stage two. Which I'm going to have to say is gonna be a little bit ridiculous. Actually, what I should really do is make sure the thing can fly before I do anything. So we'll do that. Okay, Harney, please don't get yourself killed. Last thing I need is to lose another pilot. Alright. Stay us on. I don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of that. Kill the engines. Okay, that was a little weird. may actually be those I think it is I think it's it's the um full throttle see if we can't do this there yeah, it's off was a mistake. It just took off. The wings might be a little too big. Yes, yeah, back on. Alright. So it does kind of fly though. So the next step is going to be to take that craft, giant wings and all, and make a flight-worthy rocket to launch him to the other side of the, the moon. Because, well, the 
other side of Kerbin. What's more fun than flying all the way there? It's taking a rocket. Or strapping a rocket onto a plane. That's even better. Okay. Full. Three, two, one, kaboom! Whoa, okay, okay. That's not stable. Okay, kill all engines. I am so surprised that didn't explode. So. I think if I recover the vessel and think about how it did that but on the bottom I put boosters on both sides thumpers on both sides will that work I think it will Torque is just too much even for... Oh, did I not put on the SAS? I don't think I had the SAS on. Which probably didn't help. Because there should be enough torque on the turning surfaces. But I think a lot of the problem was also because there's thumpers on both sides of this wing. So the center of thrust was too far off-center. So, I'm going to solve the problem with the application of more force. What's better than two thumpers or thumpers? Maybe if they were facing the right way. Well, those things are practically embedded in the other ones. We have to move it out because I don't want them causing collisions. All right, slap some aerodynamics on this and a couple more winglets. For stability, because stability is crucial. Hope for the best. Let's see what the thrust and that looks more on center. Much more on center. And this is just ridiculous. I know. I agree. I'm not stopping because it's so much fun. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. All right, SAS on this time, throttle the full, three, two, one, fire. That made it worse? Come on, you. Get it straight, get it straight, get it straight. Nothing has exploded, which is absolutely amazing. 
Oh, it's on rocket mode still. Alright, alright. Something's overheating, though. Something's overheating. Alright. Harney, you survived! Goodbye, rocket booster. Happy detonating. Okay. But what went wrong? I think it all went wrong. Uh, recover vessel. Second attempt. Still, Harney survived. I am so liking this Kerbal. There's no debris laying around. Well, that's strange. Alright, so what do we got? What do we have? Why did it do that? Looked like the whole kit and caboodle should have been stable, but it kept flipping over. Oh, that's because these are over here? Well, no wonder I had that was completely in the wrong place. Those deploy the end. Those have to deploy with those. Those and those. Okay, that was my problem. I found the problem. Let's not kill Harney. This is not killing Harney. Take three. Poor guys, never gonna look at us playing the same way again. Alright, throttle to full, plane mode toggle, turn off the flight engineer stuff for now so we can see what we're doing, all boosters are go, alright let's go. SAS on, three, two, one, boom. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. Actually, that is gorgeous. Nice and stable. Excellent job, Harney. In fact, it's so stable, it's almost hard to fly. down the engines because we are going so fast I'm worried I'm going to lose some wings here. Okay, all right. We've got some damage to the thrusters on that. And she does not like flying here. Well, she's stabilized. Just a nice, easy re-entry here. Nothing fancy. 
Landing. Re-entry. This isn't a re-entry. This is a landing. And we've touched down again. So that's good. Another safe little flight for Harney.